Hello, Chad Pinkston, thecorporateplaybook.com. Welcome to the Two Minute Drill. This is a time for a little less talk and a lot more action, so we're going to go ahead and dive right in. Today's topic, electronic resumes, and why you need to have two separate copies of your resume or two different versions of your resume, I should say. Uh, right now, you probably have the version that looks great if you actually give it to, uh, give it to a person. Unfortunately, uh, you're probably not getting that opportunity because you're first prompted to uh, submit that resume online through a job website or through a company website. And uh, you'll find that that uh, fancy dancy version that you have that looks great in person does not look so hot when uh, put into an online version. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. And uh, to effectively articulate this, I'm just going to show you straight up exactly what happens when you take that uh, well-formatted resume with bullet points, with the different fonts, with the underlines, and what happens when you take that and submit it to a, uh, an online database. So let's go ahead and take a look at that right now. All right, we've got Ron Burgundy's resume here. And as you can see, Ron has a very liberal use on underlines, on um, different types of uh, fonts and different types of bullet points. Um, so as you can see, it's it's a it's a decent looking resume on the front end here, from what we can see. But let's take a look at what happens when that resume is uploaded into a database. Okay, what we have now is Ron's resume after it's been uploaded into a resume database. And as you can see, uh, everywhere where the fancy underlines were and the borders were, um, it's thrown in some wingdings. Uh, it's can, it's really bunched everything together. Um, basically what this has done is created a resume that a recruiter is not going to take the time to look through. Given that the average resume is only looked at for 10 seconds, uh, they're not going to take the extra time to sift through and, and really decipher what's going on with this. So what's Ron to do? Ron just sent out a dozen resumes, none of which actually made it into a recruiter's hands, and he's back twiddling his thumbs wondering what's happening. Well, Ron needs to take some action and go ahead and develop two versions of that resume. He's going to go ahead right now and he's going to remove the underlines, he's going to remove the, um, the unnecessary bullet points and indentions, and then he's going to re-upload it. And let's take a look and see what happens after those changes are made. All right, much better. Let's take a look and see if the changes that happened once uh, Ron removed the underlines and the bullet points. As you can see, we don't have the crazy wing dings. It's actually spaced out. Um, you can actually see... Uh, clearly see each individual section and a recruiter is actually going to give you 10 seconds of uninterrupted time to really evaluate this. So uh, the underlying theme is remember have two running top, uh, copies of your resume. You have the in-person version and the electronic version that is uh, without any of the uh, fancy formatting, without any bullet points, and uh, you'll get a clear transition when uploading it into resume databases. Oh hey, welcome back. It's catching up a little reading. Looks like you made it through your first two-minute drill. Congratulations. Hope you learned a lot. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you've built a resume that's going to now make it through those internets and uh, get into someone's hands. So appreciate you watching. And as always, you can follow up at thecorporateplaybook.com. Go to the locker room. You'll find this and numerous other training topics that will aid you through the process. So thanks for stopping by.